Moving to America has been one of the greatest opportunities in my life. Fortunately, many people have been willing to contribute to the experiences along the way. Hi, I'm Owino Ocheng, and this is Living the American Dream My Way. Now, for all that love to fish, we all know that once you hold that fishing rod, you get hooked for life. No pun intended. Just a little history. Fishing is a prehistoric practice dating back at least 10,000 years. Since then, fishing gear has evolved from bamboo sticks to costly automatic rods. We've all heard of this Bible verse. Teach a man to fish, get rid of him the entire weekend. <laughs> Fred chapter 11 verse 11. In this episode, we will focus on how I got hooked and disappeared for an entire weekend only to hook me the biggest catch. Huh? So this is what I meant. So they try to eat it to find out that it's rubber so this one is not 12 inches so we cannot really keep this yep so we gotta release them this is my frustration right here I think I've caught more than 20 of these but because they're not of size we cannot keep them so it's catch and release, which is always against my rule of fishing. So I'll just try and shake him off. These aren't that good. Wiggle, wiggle. And away he goes. On to my next catch and maybe release. Because that seems to be the uh, order of the day here. It was back in 2000 and something when someone told me that the best fishing in Utah is in Idaho. <laughs> it was until I started hooking up tug fish big fish and some beautiful looking fish some that I had to catch and release like the catfish the slippery dick the obese dragonfly humuhumu nukunuku whatever it is that's a hard tongue twister anyway to me they all sounded like the coffin fish one that I had to stay away from for your information those are real types of fish after so many attempts I was able to reel in the perfect fish in Idaho. This was when I understood what he meant by the earlier statement, the best fishing in Utah is in Idaho. Now, if you did not get the earlier metaphor, here's the explicit version. I went, I fished in Idaho, I hooked a woman, and the rest is history. On this day, we decided to go on a safari. But before then, I had to call a zoo meeting 
just like Tarzan would have. The lions, the wild beasts, the zebras, you name it all, were there to bear witness. Nadhani mnajua mbona nimewaita hapa. Translation, I am sure you're all wondering why I called you here, I spoke. It's my biggest day tomorrow, and I'd love for you to all behave, was the agreement to the meeting on that day. So I had to set the bar high for every man out there. I pretended to use nature's finest bathroom only to ask her to marry me. Of course she said yes. She had to say yes, otherwise she was walking home. So we decided to get married back home. The motherland, the cradle of mankind, Kenya. It was fun, cheaper, and we needed culture at our wedding. If you want to know that white men cannot only not jump, have them dance. This was the day I found out that my just been pronounced wife to be had two left feet. She could not dance to save her life. Before my dad's passing, I remembered him say, Son, marriage is not a hundred meter race, but rather a marathon. Yep, as we speak, we're still working on how to tap our feet to the rhythm of music. I guess this is what I would call beauty in the eyes of the beer holder. <laughs> 